Previously on Hadrian Thrifts. Fantastic. I'm here today at the Goodwill in Costa Mesa. How cute is this? I found this black leaf skin bag. This Michael Kors Pottery Barn. I kind of want this shrub break. How cute is this little plant? You guys, I just saw a TikTok about this. Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Do you guys like my new sunglasses? They are like a really intense, like orange and yellow. I'm still kind of get used, getting used to them. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be keeping them, but I thrifted these key. I think that's how you pronounce them sunglasses for like five or seven dollars yesterday. And I am trying them on. I like the size, but I don't know how much I love the color. Might be like a little intense or maybe it's more of like a summer spring thing but i mean i guess it is getting warmer though it was like almost it was like in the 80s the other day and then now it's like in the 60s so our weather is like all over the place but today we're gonna go thrifting hope you guys are excited uh, if you guys love thrifting though and thrift hauls vlogs home decor videos i do post videos every single day i am going to a bunch of stores today too so don't forget to subscribe so that you're notified when those videos go up throughout the week and add me on instagram it's hadrian just like it's spelled here and check out my shop it's hadrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting ventures but without further ado let's go hop over to the store all right you guys we're at our first stop here in anaheim at the goodwill on lincoln and state college all right you guys we are in the store two for 50. no oh, you can buy four for a dollar this is just like the other store okay have here to these little blankets of the unicorn down Absorbs. Ooh, you guys, I finally found like my dream carpet the other day, and I can't wait to show you guys how it looks. But I'm super duper excited. Is that zebra print? Oh, zebra print blanket. I'm actually looking for some sort of runner. To put in the kitchen, but I haven't found one that I liked yet. Side table, side table, chairs. Remember when these were like super duper cool? Like a stack of like fake luggage for a side table? Imagine how cool it would be to have a stack of Louis Vuitton luggage for a side table. <laughs> One can only dream. Ugh. That'd be so cool. I really would love one of those Louis Vuitton trunks for a coffee table. That would be truly life changing. It would be amazing. Look at these little dolls. You guys, they have some Pez dispensers. They have Cable, Thor, Yondu, Deadpool. Pretty cool. I was just here yesterday hunting. Like quickly scanning through to see if there's anything new. This is for our house. Can't see anything over on that side. That's what I'm saying, like, really. Cool. There's like a ton of people there for some reason. Everyone wanted to look at the crystal in the glass. But I didn't see anything really different from yesterday. So I'm just looking. It's like interesting, like it's kind of cute. What does it say? I do not know. Cups are not there though. This is pretty color. Bright yellow pyrex. Blue. Ooh, look at like that color combination. That's pretty. I wish I knew more about pyrex. I literally know nothing about it. I think I bought I bought some pieces actually, but they are just sitting <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Oh man, I remember someone asked me to buy them and then I bought them but then they never ended up buying them so I still just have them sitting. So I don't know what to do with them. I should probably just list them in the shop and see if anyone wants them. But we'll see. 
This is so pretty. This weighs like a ton. Doesn't have any markings, but this is like so substantial and so heavy. Definitely crystal. Yeah, crystal for sure. We have a ton of Easter stuff they just brought out. They just, I guess it's someone making this little display. Happy Easter. That's cute. This harp in hand. No, it's actually old. That's pretty fun. There's this too. That's so cool. Cute little Easter guys. Always looking for dry shampoo. The Batiste one is my favorite, but only the normal, like the regular one. Ooh, cucumber body lotion. I just found the Studio Miki for Target figure stone thing. It was $15 for the four inch one. This is definitely bigger than the four inch one. So I think it's the six inch, which was 20. But check it out, like people are selling this for like $36. Okay, where are they going? Whatever, they're selling for $36 on Mercari. Let's see if we can... I also like to check shopping. Look at that, $36.89. I have this one too. I think I'm gonna get this. It's actually really cool and we'll go with my other piece that's like that. We also have that marble tissue holder that I kind of like, but... Probably don't need that. Look at that thing, very like anthro-y. But it's kind of like broken in some spots. Also, there's this. No clue what it is. <laughs> Don't know if someone painted stuff on it. Cool. You guys, look at this cookbook that I just found. I think mom's gonna love it. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. I'm super duper excited. Like, I'm like so excited to share with you guys what I got because I got some crazy things. Um, and I'm also gonna share some stuff with you that I got and uh, my camera died. So I <laughs> didn't film it and I was like running in really quickly because the store is actually going to close. Like <sighs> I forget on Sunday sometimes that some stores close early and I should have early <laughs> that some stores close early and I should go to them before they're like going to close in like five minutes. But I like ran in and saw some really cool stuff and I can't wait to show you guys what I ended up getting. But um, I did snap some photos on my phone and I'll pop those up as well. Let's start off with what I found at the regular thrift store. So I didn't really get too much. I did pick up more of these though. The hand sanitizers were such a good deal. If you guys are in Orange County, you can get four of these for a dollar. So fantastic. And then I also picked up um, some more of these cleansing facial wipes. Like I said, I love these for like handbag rehabs as well as just like refreshing your face. If you ever feel like your face is like oily or whatever throughout the day, like I just like to pat these on. I don't like to drag it across my face because that friction and stuff isn't good for your skin in the long run. So I just kind of like, just like to pat my face with it, you know, that helps a lot. It leaves you feeling nice and refreshed. And I feel like I'm a commercial for these sensitive skin cleansing facial wipes right now. These are the Target brand, I believe. Fantastic. Love them. And if I don't use them for my face, I use them to, like usually to clean handbags and stuff. I think they're a great way to like clean bags as well. Especially if you like drop something on your bag while you're out and about, like just like wipe it off with that and it's perfect. So I love it. Um, next thing I got is I got this cookbook for my mom. I think she's gonna like it. It's called Six Seasons, A New Way with Vegetables. And she loves all sorts of cookbooks, but this one is just really pretty. The photos are fantastic. She's been like wanting to like have more recipes or try new recipes for vegetarian dishes. So I think this is gonna be fantastic. I think this was like a dollar or 50 or something. So that was great. I think this book is like $20 at Target or something and the MSRP is like 40 when I looked it up. So pretty cool. And the book is really pretty and it's very like aesthetically pleasing. Like this is like a coffee table console book because like it's like really nice. Plus like look at the binding. Like that is like, that screams like put me on your coffee table and I will look gorgeous even if you're not looking at the inside of the book. So I thought that was cool. I love these kinds of cookbooks that are also decorative and beautiful as well as providing delicious meals.
and recipes. Next thing I got here is this great little decor piece. I hope like the lighting isn't wonky because I'm filming this at nighttime, as you guys can tell behind me, and the lighting is just like really weird, but I got this Mickey and Co. Sphere, and I believe they come in two sizes. This is the larger size, and then there's a smaller size. The larger size retails at Target for 20 bucks. I have never seen this at Target. Like they literally sell out in seconds, I feel like, and they're like sold out online and you can never find them, but for some of her, like this like super lucky reason like I've been finding like these like the cool McGee and Co decorative pieces at the Goodwill and if I could only find that like really cool bowl they have with like the cool like little feet or legs like that would complete my life but uh, I really love this I got the link like the two chain link things this is gonna go beautifully with that if I could only find like the little one of this like that would be perfect but this guy was ten dollars it originally it originally retails for twenty dollars and forty nine cents I think you could still see it like right there these resale like for like double of that price like I saw like listings of this online like on Mercari people are selling it for 40 60 and I think even eighty dollars which is nuts so I'm probably not gonna be selling this though I, I really do like it I love Mickey and Co stuff and this is gonna be a, a beautiful addition to my home decor which I'm very happy about well I actually like thrifted a bunch of home decor and if I end up using them and like putting them around the house before this video goes up I'm gonna put those photos up for you guys so you can check it out but um otherwise just like stay tuned for like a decorating video or like a vlog or something and I'll probably talk about it in there and I know I haven't been doing vlogs recently I'm so sorry I've been getting a couple messages about that I just haven't been filming vlogs really as much that I am filming but I feel like I never have enough content to like make a whole video so I think I'm just gonna do like one like long video of like the past however long I haven't been vlogging and just kind of kind of incorporate them all together some way but then next this is another decorative piece like I said and this is another beautiful coffee table book which I'm very excited about because this is the Alexander McQueen Savage Beauty book it's super cool it has like this holographic front thing I think that's actually him right like that's his face and then it's like morphs into like this other creature uh this book is super duper cool it was three dollars and 99 cents and I got this at Rare this was the other store that I went to that was closing early then my camera was dying <sighs> I keep forgetting my extra batteries in the charger and it's like not good but this book is beautiful it has so many beautiful images of his clothing pieces and all that and we love Alexander McQueen may he rest in peace and I think this is gonna be like a beautiful addition to my home decor I love collecting coffee table book and I have just like such an immense like respect and love for fashion this is like very exciting for me I love 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 this book I have like my Tom Ford book I have like my Chanel book and then I have this McQueen book I would love to add more to the collection but I'm trying to like keep it to the thrift so I'm like seeing which ones I can find there okay so the next thing this is like the coolest thing and when I first saw it I was like it's not like prehistoric fossil is this from a dinosaur is this from a dragon is it even real like what is it so okay let me show you guys it is this jagnormous bone I believe it's a vertebrae and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, like, is this like a dinosaur bone? What is it? Like, that? It, did I just find a dinosaur bone at the thrift store? And then I was looking at it and then I noticed that it has this little tag on it and it is actually an orca bone. An orca. You know, like Shamu, like those whale sharks, which is crazy. And like, aren't like doll, like they're not like, sharks because they're like mammals but i don't think they're whales i think they're like related to dolphins right like am i wrong i could be wrong are they whales or are they dolphins or are they like their own thing comment down below if you guys know i'm probably gonna look it up later it's so cool i don't even know if like this is like legal to sell but it was at the thrift store and i bought it i have a tag <laughs> and a receipt so this was, okay, so this is crazy because at first I thought it was like seized from someone who had it illegally because it says on here that it has like a little thing that says date seized and it says unknown. So I don't know if they like seized it from someone or something that had it illegally or whatnot, but then it says UNK, which I think stands for unknown. And then, it, but then it sees, it says seized from transfer to headquarters. So maybe it like was never seized from anywhere. Like it was just something that they always had and they were just like transferring it somewhere else. And this is from the Fish and Wildlife, US Department of Commerce, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, National Marine Fisheries Services. So that's like super duper 
cool. Um, it was transferred. It doesn't have a date or anything on here. It was from the Northwest Division. It's uh, the an orca bone. And it doesn't say what kind, but just like looking at it, it looks like kind of like a vertebra bone, right? Like that's what like vertebra bones usually kind of like look like, except like 50 times the size. So I wonder how large this whale was. Like, it's so cool. And this is gonna be like an amazing home decor piece. Like, I'm gonna put it like on a stack of books. The colors are very aesthetic. The look is very aesthetic. I don't know if I can get like a cool stand for this or something, but like, this is a genuine orca bone. Like, who can say that they actually have one of these inside their home? Like, it's completely nuts. It's something that I never thought I'd have. Like, my dad and I love this kind of stuff. And I'm actually probably gonna save this for my dad's birthday, which is like in June. So I'm gonna like literally have to hold off on this and like all I wanna do is show it to him so we can talk about it and be like, this is so cool. And now I'm just gonna have to wait till his birthday. So pray that I have the strength to keep this a secret until then because I, I I'm really bad at like keeping like presents from people like I literally want to give it to them right away but yeah it's so cool I love it it's like one of the coolest things I have found like how do you even put a price on an orca bone I've seen orcas at like a sea world like when I was little and I think I actually have seen orcas in the ocean I think do not quote me but I think I did when I was like younger or something but uh, it's such a cool thing to have found and it's like definitely a conversation piece and I don't even know where to put it. Like, am I gonna put it in the library? Am I gonna put it in the bookcase? Am I gonna put it on a stack of books? Am I gonna put it on the coffee table, the console table? Like, where is it gonna go? I have no clue, but it's super duper interesting and I'm gonna stop talking about it, but comment down below what you guys think about it. Let me know also too, like what the craziest, strangest thing you've ever found at the thrift was because it's definitely gonna be this orca bone for me. Like, that is nuts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up give it a thumbs up for the orca bone like please come on like this is crazy don't forget to subscribe too and hit that little bell button so you're notified when the new videos go up because i did film all weekend new videos are going to be going up every day this week at 7 a.m so the new one tomorrow is at 7 so don't forget to check that out and yeah let me know down below again what the craziest thing you guys have found at the thrift was and i'll share it in an upcoming video all right okay i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys all in the next one all right bye